The Intercept is reporting on how party leaders are continuing to screw the left and the country in the process. Party leaders are not strategic geniuses. They just really like moderates. New research finds. A paper in this month's edition of the peer-reviewed Legislative Studies Quarterly analyzes a decade's worth of federal elections, finding that party organizations boost moderate candidates across the board whether the general election is, ex is expected to be competitive or a long shot. In other words, party support for moderates does not appear to be strategic, but sincere. Quote, they're not doing this to have a better shot at winning elections, said the paper's author Hans Hassel, assistant professor of politics at Cornell College in Iowa. The evidence points more to the conclusion that party elites have strong incentives to prefer loyalists who can be trusted to implement its preferred policies after the nomination, Hassel writes. So let me explain what this means. For every single election, the leaders of the Democratic Party come out and they go, Oh, you have to understand all of you populist left activists who care deeply about issues like Medicare for all and free college and a living wage and ending the wars and legalizing marijuana. You have to understand that we agree with you. Oh, we agree with you. We really do. But it's just, it's not the right time to try to do that and run candidates who are for that because primarily what we're concerned about is electability. And in order to win, you need to run moderate candidates because it's the pragmatic thing to do in order to really uh, gain control of the country. Well, there's, there are many problems with that. I mean, one of them is, okay, but then if you, we elect the moderates, then what? If we already know they're not going to do the policies that we want in the first place, then it doesn't really matter that you say in your heart of hearts you agree with us because if at the end of the day we don't get those policies, it doesn't fucking matter if you agree with us in casual conversation. It matters what actually gets implemented and what the politicians are willing to fight for. But then the other problem with that is they frame it as if, oh, it's just a matter of we have to do it because that's the only way to win. What are you going to do? And they say that as if it's like axiomatically true. Like, pff, obviously you're stupid if you disagree with this. Like, well, you don't get it. But no, the data shows that that's not the case. The data, first of all, over, uh, when Barack Obama was in office and we, you know, Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi, leaders of the Democratic Party, we lost a thousand seats. Democrats lost a thousand seats. So notice, anytime there's evidence of their approach failing, they just brush it under the rug and act like it never happened. <laughs> like, oh shit, there is empirical evidence of our approach being wrong? Well, that's... Uh, I know what the problem is. The problem is we didn't run candidates that were moderate enough. We didn't run candidates that were centrist enough. We didn't run candidates that were conservative enough. So in other words, no matter what the results are, they go, ah, we gotta run further right wing. So, strategically they're wrong. That doesn't help your chances of winning an election. It just doesn't. You're, you're objectively incorrect about that. Um, but then also, like they're saying here, that's just a, that's a mask for the fact that they just support more conservative candidates. So in other words, they mask it as like, oh, we have to do it. But in reality, they just agree with the policy proposals of blue dog style Democrats, neoliberal, centrist, corporatist Democrats. So it's just, it's disingenuous on so many different levels. It's disingenuous because it doesn't help us win, and it's also disingenuous because you're not doing it out of necessity, you're doing it because, I mean, y you prefer those candidates, so just say it. Just fucking say it. But listen, they can't just say it. Because that they're trying to cover up for the fact that who funds the party leaders? Mostly the same people that fund the Republicans. I mean, there's some exceptions. Like, for example, the NRA also funds the Republicans. They don't fund the Democrats. Big Oil does fund the Republicans. Mostly, they don't fund the Democrats. But do Democrats have Wall Street donors? Yeah. Do Democrats have military-industrial complex donors? Yeah. Do Democrats have for-profit health insurance company donors and pharmaceutical company donors? Yeah. So, party leaders, what they do this... They have a whole industry that's geared towards concern trolling. That's like, oh, 
we're just, listen, sorry, Bernie Sanders style Democrats, but I'm, no, we like, we can't go in that direction because it's just, we want to win, so let the adults take control. Well, you guys have had control from the fucking 1980s, how'd it work out? Donald Trump is president. Can you imagine the nerve of people who lost to a reality star buffoon telling us that even though they were in control and they lost, that, oh no, it's cool because we need to control the future. But you showed us you're terrible at what you're doing, because you lost. Like, yeah, but the, 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 uh, the mulligan, something, just let us stay in control. No, how about no? So, kick the bums out, man. Now again, it's difficult because they're fully funded. So they get to drown out voices on the left that actually care about the issues. But, we're fighting back and we're having some successes. Our revolution, Justice Democrats, we've won about 50% of our races to this point. That's with a permanent monetary disadvantage. So, there's a thirst and a hunger in the country for what we are offering, for what the populist left is offering. And it's just a matter of overriding these disingenuous, smug douchebags who just, they just believe in, you know, neoliberal centrism and corporatism. I just wish they'd be honest, you know? I just wish that, like, because I could deal with that. I could deal with somebody straight up telling me, listen, I am a neoliberal. I am a centrist. I am a corporatist. And I'll make arguments as to why I think that's better. Um, but I will also admit that our record has been terrible and we get our asses kicked. And it probably is the case that from a pragmatic perspective, if the left runs, the left has a much better chance of beating the Republicans. If somebody were up front with me like that, I have nothing but respect for that person. I would massively disagree with them, but I have nothing but respect for them. But all you get is just liars, just liars and fucking smear merchants and disingenuous actors who are, no, we must run like this to have a chance of winning. <laughs> That's why we have to run the same people who keep losing nonstop. And we're only doing this out of necessity to win. No, because you keep losing with the moderate candidates. You keep losing with them, but you keep running them. Which tells me, maybe you just believe in moderate candidates because that's what your ideology is. Because those candidates will protect your donors. Will protect the special interests. Like I said, kick the bums out.